This man, Captain Reed, is going off to work, and before he is finished, he will have traveled further than Columbus did when he sailed to discover the world. not just a story about traveling great distances. It is eight o'clock in the morning as Captain Reed drives off to work. And he will get home from his journey at 11 o'clock tonight. So it is also a story about speed. Captain Reed's grandfather could never have imagined such a journey or such speeds. But Captain Reed himself dreamed of such a time. He learned to fly at 16, and by the time he was 20, he was in Air Force uniform, teaching others how to fly. <laughs> it was the first year of the war. flimsy-looking plane of wood and wire and canvas which Reed first learned to fly was very different from the aircraft of today, with an instrument panel not much more complicated than the dashboard of a car. But the jet plane which is being readied for the journey he will make today is a vast and complicated machine needing the skills of many expert people. Two or three times a week, pilots like Reed head out for journeys that will take them to England, Switzerland, Japan, the West Indies. For the plane he will pilot today has such range and speed that it has brought the countries of the world as close as if the Earth itself had shrunk. At, uh, seven Morning, Paul. Morning, Morning, Paul. Well, the flight to Jamaica this morning we planned you Montreal jet route to Idlewild, from Idlewild jet 79 Victor to Wilmington, North Carolina, and then control 1151 from Wilmington down to Nassau. Today's flight is from Montreal to Jamaica. The plane is so huge it can carry comfortably 137 passengers. Most of them are dressed warmly, but their luggage contains bathing suits and suntan lotion where they will soon be in a very different climate. Well, the weather for the flight today looks just about as good as it could be, almost VFR all the way. The surface low, or the main surface low on the Six Zulu map is moving through just to the north of Montreal at the moment. The cold front, which extends southward from this low, has already moved through to the east of us, the briefing can tell the crew what weather conditions they will run into four hours from now, when they will be almost 2,000 miles south. The aircraft is now out on the ramp, being ready for takeoff. Food has been put on board, and the stewardesses are arriving. In fact, the whole weather picture is excellent for today's flight. They've been checking all the details of the flight plan, fuel supplies, flying altitude, arrival times, and so on. And it's only when they have satisfied themselves that all is in order that the captain signs his name. John? Well, gentlemen, I guess we might as well board the airplane now, eh? Yes, 30 minutes or so. Three men make up the crew. The captain, his first officer, Jean Gilbert, and second officer, Leo Slomchevsky, each of whom can pilot the plane if necessary. Morning, Louise. Morning, Captain. Right, Morning. gentlemen. How does the weather look down south? Very good. Both in Nassau and Jamaica. Flying time in Austin? 35,000 feet, four hours and five minutes. Morning. Morning, Ray. Morning. But even after the crew is aboard, there remain a great many details which must be checked. Okay, Leo, uh, fire warning check. Number one, one, two, three. Number two, one, two, three. Number three, one, two, three. Number four. When one, Captain two, Reed learned three. to fly, his plane had five dials on its instrument panel. In a jet, there are more than 300 instruments. And, uh, okay, there. okay. 
Doppler on Doppler. Okay, on mag zero and plus. Mag zero plus. And, and the forty eight range, two forty eight on, on antenna and vehicles. Uh, there. On. While the crew is checking, the fuel is being piped into tanks in the wings from an underground reservoir. For this single flight, they have pumped in 20,000 gallons of fuel, enough to drive an average car for 30 years. Trans-Canada Airlines, flight 884. Their destination, Jamaica. A century ago, it was a journey that could take weeks of traveling, by train or coach and by sailing ship. So only a very few people, rich or adventurous, ever dreamed of going to an island in the distant Caribbean Sea. These people will make the trip in four hours. Seat belts are fastened. It is a few minutes before departure. Time to start the engines. Starting three. was not so peaceful. During the war, he was among the airmen who flew skimming close to the sea 
to avoid being spotted by enemy radar. And he was among those who hedgehopped over the lowlands of Europe. He became a wing commander, and the missions he led were sometimes very dangerous. Montego Bay was a sleepy little town that few had ever heard of. Today, people come to this beautiful place from many parts of the world. Thirty planes a day now land here. The one coming in left London, England, four hours before this crew left Montreal. Men long dreamed of a time when they would be able to conquer distance through flying. But until about 60 years ago, it seemed that this could only be a dream. And when dangerous and difficult flights were undertaken successfully, people gathered in wild excitement, and the pilot was hailed as a great and daring hero. of the air today are men in 
rockets who can orbit the whole planet in an hour and a half. Roger 474, Montego latest with a wind indicating 065 at 25, Viz 14. And when the jet pilot goes to work, he doesn't consider himself a hero. It's his job. A job of tremendous importance, for it brings distant places to our doorstep. It makes neighbors of us all. Service. Flight 885 is now loading at gate 6. Thank you. Montego Betar, this is Transcan of Flight 885, taxi class. Roger, 885, get a taxi to take off position, runway 06, wind indicating 065 at 24. The pressure 1020, decimal 6 millibars, 3014 inches. Go ahead. Roger, Transcan of Flight 885 is ready for takeoff. Roger, 885, clear takeoff, wind indicating 065 and 26. Roger, 885 is rolling. Montego Bay Tower, Transcanada flight 885 is climbing through 3000. Transcanada 885, please clear to leave this frequency. Good day. Roger, and good evening. Transcanada 885, 